We start the haircut with mapping out our top section from the recession along the parietal ridge, above the apex zone through to the opposite side. I'm taking slight diagonal back sectioning. My cutting angle is vertical for the first two sections. Cutting on base, creating a flatter, more modern result. Once we reach the third section, we change our cutting angle to mirror our sectioning. Using the length from the previous section as our guide, we now start cutting round graduation. We direct our comb from underneath, elevating the guide to our new section. Our cutting angle mirrors our section. The section is elevated straight out from the head shape, directing the section towards the center of your chest. When you can clearly see your guide and your cutting angle mirrors your section and your elevation is 90 degrees straight out from the head shape, we cut our section. This will connect our graduation into the previous layer. The layer flattens the shape in front of the air and the graduation will start building weight along the parietal ridge while reducing weight working down towards the hairline. We continue this process with diagonal back sectioning, moving our body position around the head shape to mirror our cutting section, standing in front of each cutting section. Round graduation will create a softer, more feminine result in short haircuts. Once we reach behind the air, I change my cutting angle in this zone, working closer to the head shape. This will save you time personalizing at the end of the haircut if you want your nape zone to be shorter or scissor overcombed. Curving your sectioning will create more softness while straight diagonal back sectioning will create a sharper result. We continue to take new sections, using our previous section as our guide, maintaining our elevation, directing the hair straight out from the head shape, making sure we can see our guide before cutting our graduation. Our cutting angle is approximately 45 degrees diagonal back and the elevation is straight out from the head shape. I use the center of my chest as a guide to maintain my body position. This ensures I am standing in front of each section before cutting, helping to maintain my round shape, working around the head shape. Have you been wondering why I started this haircut with layering in front of the air? I chose to do this to flatten the shape around the face frame as this modernizes a round shape. A round shape can tend to make clients look older. We continue this process until we cross over the back zone. When we cut the opposite side, we will connect each side. If you are wanting more length and bulk in the crown, you could have mapped out this zone and joined it into the top zone. This pixie haircut is a shorter pixie. You could use the same method to create a slightly longer pixie, making a few adjustments when mapping out your haircut. If you want to reduce more weight in the side zones, map along the top of the parietal ridge. If you want more weight in the side zones, creating a softer shape, lower the zone around the parietal ridge.
Round shapes are shorter in the front and longer in the back. The opposite haircut shape to round is triangular, being shorter in the back and longer in the front, while square is a balanced shape. We repeat the same process on the opposite side. Your diagonal sectioning will determine your result. Closer to the vertical will reduce more weight, creating a flatter, graduated shape. Closer to the horizontal will build more weight, creating a heavier, softer shape. Let's talk face shape and suitability. This haircut is perfect for all oval face shapes, as this face shape can wear all haircuts. It's also perfect for round face shapes, as the sections in front of the ears flattens the shape around the face framing zone. If your client has a longer face shape, I would disconnect the sections in front of the ear, leaving maximum length cutting a little pixie face framing around the client's cheekbones. It will create width in the face shape and stop the client's face from looking too thin and long. With square face shapes, I would lower my graduation zone, creating more roundness and softness in the side zones. Working with clean sections and even hair hydration is key to a balanced haircut result. Once we reach the back zone, we will cross over the previous side. We will be able to check our balance if our guides connect. If our guides connect, we know our balance is perfect. Before refining, we flat wrap our graduation into natural fall. Top tip, the best way to cross check and also refine or dust your graduation is to take sections the opposite way, diagonal forward using the same elevation. If you see any unwanted hair or excess graduation, we simply dust it off. Even the smallest amount will dramatically change your graduation. Not only making it feel better for the client, it will look so much better. Optional, if you want to taper in your graduation, feel free to scissor over comb. I use a club cutting and point cutting method to clean my line before completing the graduation. This pixie haircut is suitable for all ages, as it can be styled to suit each individual client.
Another top tip, if you want to remove bulk from the graduation whilst maintaining the shape, elevate your client's head towards you. Direct all the hair in this zone and simply remove any excess graduation or discrepancies that you may see. Even if it's the smallest amount, it will polish your graduation, creating a more perfect, clean shape. In the crown zone, I repeat this process. However, I elevate the section straight up and simply twist 180 degrees before cutting off the corner. This will create a seamless, invisible layer. I complete this zone with scissor over comb and a point cutting technique to soften the shape. We now move to the top zone. It is important to rehydrate and comb through this zone before cutting. I start with the center profile section. I take length from the top of the crown and elevate my new guide to be two fingers in width higher than the previous guide. We work with an increased triangular layer over directing the fringe zone back to maintain length in the front zone. This is our guide for the top. Each new section is cut on base. The top zone is disconnected from the crown and side zones. Allowing the top zone to seamlessly fall in any direction, creating a very versatile, fun, pixie haircut shape. We now flat wrap the shape and refine with point cutting to soften the shape and add texture and movement. If you value my work or if you've learned something new, hit the like and subscribe icons. I refine the fringe zone with reducing more weight on one side using point cutting and channel cutting techniques. On the opposite side, I layer the fringe over directing each section to the side. This will reduce weight on this side while directing length back to the previous side. I complete this side by removing weight in this top corner. This process will help to create a wearable side sweepy fringe. This pixie haircut can be styled to suit all ages and styles. Coming up next is my laid bob haircut tutorial.